guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Annika Joy. If you um didn't know, I assume you assumed that if you didn't know. But yeah, I hope you're doing great and having a great day. No, I'm very sorry to hear that or to whatever. <laughs> so um I am terrible at intros. Okay, so today I am going to be sharing with you guys um, a couple of truths from the Bible that recently um, really opened my eye, opened my eyes to certain things that I hadn't really seen before, or just kind of gave me like kind of woke me up to like, hey, you need to get right on this. You need to get um, get it back together in this area of your life. So recently, my church had a revival revival meetings. So we had a speaker come and preach for several nights in a row, you know, and um, this one, the speaker actually chose to just use the same seven verses that are in the same passage and take like the one or two verses each night and um, talk about that and really explain it. And the passage that he used was Second Peter chapter one, verses one through seven. I have my notes here. I think I'm pretty sure that's the right passage. Yeah. Second Peter 1, 1 through 7, and I am actually going to focus on verses 4 through, wait, no, 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 sorry. <laughs> verses 5 through 7, yeah. Um, it, it really, yeah, it really just spoke to me, and I really do want to change, and I am already starting to try to change in um, certain areas. So, this is New King James Bible. Um if you're wondering. <laughs> All right, so uh, I'm in first Peter. Hang on. I didn't practice this. Sorry, guys. Okay, second Peter one. I'll just go ahead and read one through seven real quick. Simon Peter, a bondservant of an apostle of Jesus Christ, to those who have obtained like, like precious faith with us by the righteousness of our God and Savior Jesus Christ, grace and peace be multiplied to you in the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. As his divine power has given to us all things that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of him who called us by glory and virtue, by which we have been given, by which have been given to us exceedingly great and precious promises, that through these you may be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. Okay, that was one through four. Now, five through seven, that was kind of just like, help. Um, I wanted to help you kind of see what the context was here. But also for this very reason, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue, to virtue knowledge, to knowledge self-control, to self-control perseverance, to perseverance godliness, to godliness brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness love. So in the version that he used, I think he used King James Version, but um, in this one, New King James, it says, but also for this very reason, giving all diligence, um, and then it starts listing things. And in the other one, I think it said, I think it used the word effort. And this verse especially really spoke to me because he started talking about like, try to think about different things that you give a lot of effort in, or you put a lot of effort into in your life. And what are those things? So for me, some things that I know I put a lot of effort into are school. I try to get good grades. And currently volleyball, I'm, I've been trying to work pretty hard at getting better at volleyball and learning the sport and um, just really um, pursuing that, trying to make as many practices as possible, you know. And then piano, I play piano and I try to practice fairly consistently and I'm really trying to get better at that. I want to do a humorous interpretation, a speech for a competition in the spring and I'm going to have to start memorizing that soon. I might do acting again. I might do a piano duet, piano solo, uh, probably going to do a vocal duet, maybe a clarinet solo, you know, so I personally try to keep myself extremely busy. I put effort into tons of different things, but the point is here it's saying, why did I just close my Bible? Okay. Here it's saying, it's not talking about our hobbies. It's saying that we need to put effort into um, becoming more like Christ and growing our relationship with him and becoming closer to him and, you know, becoming more like him. As we become closer to him, 
you will see these fruits more often come out of you. It will be more prevalent in your life. So another thing that I put a lot of effort into sometimes is bettering my relationships. And I do put effort into bettering my relationship with Jesus sometimes. But honestly, if I think about it, I feel like there are relationships in my life. There are people in my life who I often try to get to know better than I'm trying to get to know Jesus. Like, I've kind of gotten stuck, it seems like, maybe the past year or so, or even more, or less, I don't really know, in a rut, or like a place where I feel like I know that Jesus is the ruler of my heart, and I am willing to do whatever he wants me to do. I am. I'm willing to just give it up. But, because I know that, I've ten I tend to kind of put it on the back burner sometimes and just live my life and think of the different categories, you know, like maybe with my friends as in the back of my mind, I know, oh yeah, Jesus is first in my life. So I don't really have to try to live that out right now. I don't, or not that, but like, I don't have to try to um, force that to um, grow more and get even for him to be even higher in my life because he's already first so like it's fine I can just live life and that's not how we're supposed to look at it we're not supposed to be lazy about this and say yeah Jesus is first in my life whatever you know that's great I'm gonna live life now <laughs> no we're supposed to put forth effort and diligence into this and hearing that just and reading it just makes me think you know I put so much effort into these things that eventually aren't going to matter. But I really don't put that much effort. When I take all of that compared to the little amount of time that I put effort into my relationship with God, it's kind of like a disgrace. <laughs> like it's kind of, it, it really just shows me how, how much I can still grow because what I should be putting forth effort into and want to pursue is my relationship with Jesus. I should put forth diligence and diligence and diligence into that. Yet, so often I choose to put forth effort. I choose to use my energy for other things. I choose to use my brain work and to think about lots of other things and put effort into other things. Sorry if you hear people. <laughs> That's my family. So... Um, that's what that verse is saying. And then it goes on to say, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue and to virtue knowledge. I just want to look at my notes real quick for a sec here. Here are a couple of thoughts I wrote at the end of this. I said, do you know your God in a more real, specific, and personal way than you did a year ago? You should. It should be growing. And that kind of goes along with the knowledge part of this verse. Knowledge is truth that is understood properly and truth that is practically applied. I got this from the speaker. Um, and truth that is personally obeyed. So when I think about it a year ago or even a month ago, since then, looking at myself now, evaluating now compared to then, have I grown in my relationship with God? Do I feel closer to him? And do I feel like I know more about him and that I know him better? That's really something to think about. And then um, the second thing is that I put is how much effort are you putting into your relationship with Christ? Um, so when I think about that compared to other things, I know I definitely need to put in more effort in that area. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, sorry if I like had to cut it off in a weird spot. I don't know if I'll have to or not. Um, but this was actually a pretty long video, so I decided to cut it short and to split it in half. So the video um, that you guys just watched, the part two to that, I will upload that half as a separate video. So um, just be ready for that. Actually, I will, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and upload those both on the same day hopefully around the same time for you guys so if you just got done watching this one feel free to go ahead and watch the other one um yeah 
So I will see you guys next time. Bye. Okay, my bed is like extremely squeaky. <laughs> yeah. Also, if you're wondering why like the wall is bare, I recently like kind of sort of redecorated my room, but I'm not done. So I'm in the process. And I'm gonna put some stuff up there, but I haven't yet. So yeah, in case you're wondering about that. Anyway, welcome back to my channel, guys. It's me, Annika Joy. I assume you assumed that if you didn't know. Um so anyway, today I am going to be sharing with you guys something very sorry, I am being distracted. I well <laughs> It will be bad. I'm actually gonna like start this over. <laughs>